Hi everyone, it's Arthur at Arthur Ease Your Mind here on YouTube and ArthurEaseYourMind.com. I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you've already been a subscriber to the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. And also thanks for the likes, the shares, the wonderful comments that you leave, especially after last week, I have to say, it was like a big virtual hug from everyone. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's a lot going on. Now, as you know, I usually do shows on Friday. Gee, it's Monday. That's right. It's Monday, October 9th. Well, I originally had a show scheduled with Mel on Friday, but actually he had a last minute emergency client. So we canceled. And then him running around getting ready for Italy. It's like, I, he was, I didn't want him stressing out. I said, well, let's do the show in two weeks. So, and then he's off to Italy. Yay. But I'll tell you, the guy's been through a lot this year and he deserves it. So, and so does Linda G. So please, everyone still most benevolent outcomes and prayers to these wonderful people. And when you're done with them, the rest of the world. Okay. Because by doing so, we raise the vibration. And we are going through a planetary shift right now. And we need all the help we can get. All right. Now, I did get some interesting questions. Again, last minute. So I, I thank you for the questions. Most of them had to do with Israel. It's a sad state. When I saw this on, new, on the news, I'm like, oh my God, when is this ever going to end? This has been going on, seems like, forever in one way or another. And the questions range from Mel, that, Mel Yaz asking, hi, Arthur, how long will the attack on Israel last? Another, hi, Arthur, do you see the outcome of Hamas destruction of Israelis ending soon? Rob and Lisa, how long will the Israeli war last? David, will the conflict between Israel and Hamas end soon? Will the corrupt Benjamin Yahu be removed from office? Linda, I would appreciate it if you could tell us what you see for Israel and Netanyahu. Thanks. And Rama, thank you for helping us keep calm during these troubling times. You're welcome. How long will conflict last? Hearing many different assessments. Thanks. Well, Unfortunately, it's one of those things, you ask 12 people something, you're going to get 29 different answers because everyone's all over the place on this one. It's a sad state of affairs, the way this happened, why it happened. When I dove into this and I've been looking into this and meditating on this, this is not something they just decided to do last week. This has been in the planning. It had nothing to do with Iran getting money because money had been released, but hadn't been released yet when these plans were made. And their payments only, my guys are telling me. Um, and at the same time, I just kept on feeling that Hamas is being used. And who's the puppet master behind this? Putin. I kept on getting Russia involved with this. I kept on getting Iran involved with this. And the timing was just a little bit, to me, too perfect. I'll tell you why. If we had a Speaker of the House right now, I don't think this would have happened. I feel they waited until there's a little bit of discord going on. And then boom. They went in. And also the fact that there is a Senator Tupperville who is mucking up our military. So I feel they saw that as hit him, hit him when they're down, kick him. It's just like all the Republicans. So when will this end? I'll be honest with you. I kept on meditating on this. I kept on getting a date. November 7th. Now, I'm not saying that's when it's all going to completely end. 
But I kept thinking, why? And then my grandmother came to me. Now look, I'm medium rare. So when someone comes through, I listen. All she said was, pay attention, think about it. And that was it. She was a bit of a wise ass like me, so. <laughs> so I thought about it. Her birthday is November 7th, I think 1908. So November 7th, I feel some type of agreement, some type of, not a complete ceasefire, I hope so, but something is going to be figured out by November 7th. I'm not saying it's over at November 7th, but around that time period, give it take a few days on each side, because we know upstairs has a different clock than we do. Something is going to come to light and things can start being worked on. Again, I also feel that we're focused on Ukraine. We're focused on Taiwan. So Putin's looking, eh, well, just kick Israel. So that's what happened. The way I'm seeing it from my guides. The history, will the history books will tell us the truth, what happens when it comes out. If we ever know the true story. But what I'm saying to you is, it's a mess. It's ugly. Everyone's going frantic. Everyone's getting upset. And on top of that, we've got all the election stuff and it's crazy and everyone's walking around like chicken little well it's an acorn this guy's not falling now what i will say is i've had some clients recently that have really been wigged out on this so what i've been instructing them is to do five little things in other words, right now we're full of resentment. We're full of resentment because we can't control what's going on. The news keeps on blasting at us and blasting and blasting. All this clickbait. And we don't even know if half of it's true anymore. Because since Sinclair and all the other companies took over the media, they just want their sides told. And the other side, they want to make money. People make money off of war. Ask the Rothschilds. So what I'm feeling here is relax, chill, because we're in overwhelm. We're in resentment mode. Now there's five things we can all do to get out of that. In fact, I'm going to put it in the about page downstairs. I'm down below, downstairs. Them. I'm not going to go into detail here. I'm just going to mention real quick bullet points. One, sitting in nature and explain how. Two, children, being around children, the laughing of little babies and children, it will lift your spirit. Three, animals and pets. I mean, who? When an animal comes up to you and starts hugging you and kissing you and like, how can you not laugh or how can you not smile? Okay? It's wonderful. I mean, I mean, I do understand it's hard to put the little leashes on the fish and take them out for a drag, but you know, at least you're trying. Okay? And then there's music. Whatever music trips your trigger, go for it. I don't care if it's Lawrence Welk, Tchaikovsky, or some garage band down the street in Seattle. Whatever. Taylor Swift. Whatever trips your trigger or BTS, you can do it. And then dance like no one's watching. Okay? And the last one of all is silence. Listen to the silence of the heart. How do you do that? Easy. You listen. Now, if you're nature, if you're somewhere, perfect. My suggestion, take your hand, put it over your heart. Close your eyes. Listen to that heartbeat. Breathe. And as you listen to your heartbeat, 
and you breathe, you'll start seeing that your heart stops slowing. It starts slowing. It starts getting slower. Little at a time. And do that for 10 minutes. Make deep breath that breathe in and breathe out. It's simple as that. Unfortunately, people like Putin and Trump and Rocket Man, they can't do that one because you need a heart to hear it and feel it. So moving on. Now, because of all the insanity with the house being up in arms and us not having a speaker of the house, yes, I feel they use that as an excuse to get in there. But lots of questions. Who's going to be the next speaker of the house? It's not Jim Jordan. Okay? I'm telling you right now. It's, if, if it's Jim Jordan, I will send you a deck of cards. Really? Oh, and that reminds me, speaking of cards, some wonderful fan, Arthur I, I know you hate that title, but that word, but sent me a beautiful, beautiful deck, the Le Mans deck. They know that I've used Le Mans. I've seen this. I haven't bought it yet, but I don't have to. And it's the extended version. I, I stick to, to the ones from the 70s, little ones like this. And sometimes there are other modifiers I would like to use. So I would use two decks, you know, create, say create extra cards. This has them. So thank you. You know who you are. You asked me not to mention your name, but thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. This miss comes early to Arthur. So let's see here. So my Polish twin, who do you feel the next speaker of the house? Not Jim Jordan. I keep on feeling whoever it's going to be is short-lived. I keep on getting the number 10. Either 10 days or 10 months. But whoever it's going to be, it's going to be uh, that kind of show. Crap all the show. And nothing's going to get done. Now, it's interesting that McCarthy's saying, with everything going on in Israel, I can come back. Who does that sound like? I'm the only one that can fix this. I'm the only Yeah, right. Whatever. Move on. Um. Remember that TV show, The Weakest Link? That's what I'm going to say. So I see Scalise, I feel, has a good shot of it. Jim Jordan, no. But working backwards in 2025 and in beyond, Hakeem Jeffries. It's going to be marvelous. I mean, I prayed to St. Jude the other night that the Republicans see the error of their ways and try and vote him in now. But let's face it, that's what we need. Because I'm getting tired of all these little babies. In fact, I've, a, I've got questions here about Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Bobart and the whole clown card. You know what? Know what we really need? We need Zelda Rubenstein. Remember her? Hold her, guys. This house is clean. That's what we need. We need someone like that coming in here. But guess what? There is someone like that. He just hasn't gotten there yet. In the name of Jack Smith. I've always said he's got his list, checking it twice, and he knows who the naughty ones are. And he's biding his time. Let's go after Trump first. Let's go after the things we can go after. And then we can take the time on the people who let sideshows 
and tours and all that of the Capitol happened days before the insurrection. Leaving, they've got they've got names. They've got video. Didn't hand every. They think they handed everything over to Fox. I'm sorry. I think there's stuff that was not handed over yet to the committees. Entertainment persons only. I'm just a psychic. That's all I am. Okay. But yeah, and then also Nancy's asking, so will the government be shut down? No. December, the government will not be shut down. The one thing is they're going to kick it, kick the can, as they always do, down the road, down the road, down the road. But when it gets the Democrats back in power, it's taken care of. I mean, we've this country has gone, has shut down before. And each time, it was with the Republicans. And each time, the Democrats fixed it. So I do not see the government shutting down them. I do not see it happening. Okay. And Nancy's asking, oh yeah, will the GOP ever defund the FBI police? I'm concerned about their past threats. Their threats. The dogs that bark. They don't bite. Well. <laughs> Unless their names are major and commander. Um, I got a question here. President Biden's dog, major and commander, were removed from the White House because of multiple biting incidences of Secret Service agents and staff. Were they biting because they sense negative energies and were trying to protect the president? Critters, no. Animals, no. Come on. Yeah. So... So I'm going to say on that one. Yeah, they knew. God bless them. Now, speaking of dogs, Trump has no coping skills and can't see him mentally managing the quagmire of legal trouble he has gotten himself into. Since Trump's mental state appears to worsen daily, will at some point a judge, his legal team, or a family member have him forced to take a men mental capacity evaluation, and will he be committed? Could mental incompetence turn out to be his one defense? Do you remember he took that test and he was the smartest president, the smartest man in the room? when he took that competency test and even told about it and said what the test was like. I think my nephew, when he was five years old, could have passed it. So come on. But the thing is, his ego would not permit this. I feel his health is going to fail. I mean, let's face it, his brain is Swiss cheese. He's nuts. You know, he really, really is crazy, especially with everything he's spouting out. But then again, he's going from the Hitler playbook. I'm sorry to say it like that, but he is. I mean, he's playing the same book that, that the Nazis played. And, you know, instead of, you know, calling people animals and calling people other words to get that into the culture. He's, I have to say it, he's smart at it. Too bad he doesn't use those smarts for good. But anyway... He's, his days are numbered, but not because he's going to come across as they're going to have to put him away from mental capacity. Okay? He wouldn't allow it. They didn't do the 25th Amendment when they had the opportunity to. So why would they start doing something like that now when he's not even the president anymore? Okay. Besides that, he's losing it all. Mm. NLW. 
Has Trump moved the majority of his liquid assets offshore? And if so, can the government and IRS locate and liquidate whatever is owned to the country due to his crimes? Thank you. Well, guess what? He can't move anything right now. Everything is shut down. Ta-da! Part of when they dissolved his LLCs and his companies and everything. There is somebody overseeing all his money right now, all his accounts. It's a former judge. He cannot move anything without them knowing about it. And you can't say, oh, that's not fair. Guess what? When you're indicted and you're a criminal, you lose your rights. So this whole thing of Oh, I've lost my First Amendment rights. Yeah, you did. Why? Because you're a crook. <laughs> Sorry. Entertainment purposes only. But you don't need to be a psychic to know this one. You're not a nice man. So, no. They're going to get him. Do I see him living in a frigid air box, you know, at the corner of, you know, Rodea and Wilshire? No. And the thing is, it's not the deep state. It's not because of anything like that. It's due to one thing, his greed. He did this to himself. You reap what you sow. And then we have... Ginger Betty, what do you see for Cassidy Hutchinson? Well, if you're watching that interview she did with Rachel Maddow, where Maddow's people reached out to Matt Gates and, oh, we dated. Oh, she was a lovely girl, but we, I mean, you could see that she was throwing up in her mouth. I mean, please, the woman is so class. A lot of class. Well, she returned to public service. She's going to do, be doing something. The guides aren't, at least my guides aren't telling me exactly what she's going to be doing, but she's, you know, the whistleblower, the whistleblower, you know? And it's the women that are bringing this man down. So, yay. Sterling roses, lots of roses. Hey, Arthur, will Michael Cohen get his law license back after all of this is said and done? Getting his career back? Thank you. And also, I got asked, Michael Cohen said a month ago that he might run for Congress in the future. Will he? And will he win? First of all, I don't know how the law works. I don't know if you if you lose your law license, you can get regain it. I'm not sure. So I'm not going to even venture on that one. I do not know. However, I do feel the man, if you want to look at someone evolve, I mean, really evolve, look at my Cohen. I mean, to be the handler for Trump? No. He was in a bad place. But then he realized what the truth was. He apologized more than once and came out swinging. So as he going to run for Congress, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I do see the man has a career in front of him. Being a spokesperson, spokesperson, standing up for the little guy and talking down the Humpty Dumpties of the world. Kathy Holcomb. Hi, Arthur. Thank you for your insight and humor because we definitely need you to calm us down in what looks like an October for the history books. Can you and your guys let us know what we should expect for the rest of the year? Thank you. Sending love and blessings for the rest of the year. You're not going to be watching TV as much. Okay. 
at least not news channels. I mean, they're making it like Biden's some man sitting in the corner wearing pampers in a wheelchair when he's doing Pilates, exercising, running his bike, and running a country and helping the world. And then I had a laugh when somebody asked if Trump was going to be the Speaker of the House. I'm like, he can't take care of his own house. How's he going to take care of the Speaker of the House? Be the Speaker of the House. So no, that ain't going to happen. I should have mentioned that earlier. But actually, unfortunately, I do see certain powers that be take advantage of situations. Gas prices going up and then blaming Biden for it. Well, gas prices went down. I don't know where you are, but a number of weeks ago, gas hit $6.99 here at the Shell station on the corner. Right here. Right test. Now it's at 629. It's gone down. No, no, no. But at least the trend is there. But as far as food and everything is concerned, prices aren't coming down. People are paying for it. So why would they well, why would they lower the prices? Number one. And two, then why would they give their employees raises? They're greedy. I feel that as we get into 2025 after the election, 2024, there'll be a lot of changes. A lot of changes. That idea of treat your neighbors, you treat yourself. Well, obviously, there's a lot of people who hate themselves. So what we have to do is like being as like-minded beings is send out the light and love. I know it sounds airy fairy, but really, the more you pray for others and encourage them, you're raising them up. You raise the world up. You raise the vibration. And again, we're going through a tremendous shift, an energy shift right now. And believe me, Gaia needs all the help she can get. So that's why we're here. We're all energy. So let's help her and raise this. And the faster we raise this, the more the other people have to scurry away and disappear. Because low vibrations is negative energy. High vibration is positive energy. So if there's lots of high energy at a high vibration, it's like sucking the oxygen out of the room. They can't survive. So, how's that sound? So that's it for tonight, guys. It's Monday. Thanks for sharing your Monday with me. I do appreciate it. And again, this was last minute. This actually was not planned at all until like last minute yesterday. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And when I hit 4.5, I'm telling people, there's going to be, someone's going to get a free reading. Full hour reading. We're going to have a drawing. How we're going to do that, I haven't figured it out yet. But it gives us time to get to 4.5, doesn't it? So the more you like me, the more I like you. Anyway, thank you. I do love you all and appreciate all your kindness. So that being said, take care of yourself, take care of others, have fun, stay safe, vote, vote, vote. And most importantly, just stay amazing. All right, night.